Hi guys, I'm Dr. Karishma and welcome to my YouTube channel again. Today we are going to talk about the tubular breast deformity or tubular breast. This condition usually happens during the pubertal age group. It is caused due to the underdevelopment or maldevelopment of the breast tissue mound. So if you think that your breast does not have the usual rounded shape or the teardrop shape and looks more pointy and projectile or puffy, then you may be having a tubular breast. The exact cause has not been defined till now, but most commonly it is seen that a fibrous connective tissue band is formed at the base of this breast. And this fibrous tissue band prevents the development of the breast tissue. It constricts the breast. So all the quadrants of your breast will get underdeveloped. The only thing made developed and protrude forward is the nipple and the areola. So when you look at it from the front of the side view, in very severe cases, you will see that the nipple appears puffy it is pointing forwards and downwards. The areola appears extremely large as compared. Sometimes there will be an asymmetry between the nipples on either side. Sometimes the breast will be asymmetric on both sides. If any of these symptoms you notice after your pubertal growth, then you may suspect that you could be having a tubular breast deformity. The tubular breast deformity has various grades. It could be grade 1 to grade 4 and each of them has a certain severity. Grade 1 could be extremely mild whereas grade 4 could be the severe form of the tubular breast. In the very severe form is when usually the third grade or fourth grade when patients come to us and the women are extremely disturbed about the small size breast. They realize that their breast has not been formed in any of the quadrants. It's extremely small and they feel that the nipples are just pointing outwards and they're just looking puffy. In the grade 1 and grade 2, your breasts may look mostly normal. It may be of a normal size and shape. There could be some asymmetry between two sides. But sometimes it's very difficult to differentiate between that normalcy as well as a grade 1 or 2 tubular breast deformity. So when do you decide that you have this deformity and you want to seek help? Well, you should wait till you complete your pubertal age, wait till you're 18 to 21 years and then see whether your breasts have developed or not and if they have not developed and you see all of these signs and symptoms happening then you should seek a plastic surgeon seek help and see how to correct it there are various ways to correct a tubular breast deformity and the ways to correct it depend upon the grade of deformity in grade one and two is a very mild deformity all we need to do is release of that fibrous connective tissue band and do fat grafting possibly sometimes an implant if the woman has a small size breast. For those who have extremely severe tubular breast, they have extremely less skin on the breast tissue. They have almost no breast tissue underneath the skin. Only the nipples and the areola appear puffy and they are protruding and they are extremely large. So we may have to reduce the size of areola and add volume to the breast. How this is done? It is done doing fat grafting or doing breast implants. Now fat grafting is possible in those women who have fat in other areas of the body so we can harvest it from one area and put it into the breast. But this will have to be done in stages because remember the breast mound is extremely small, doesn't have much space, the skin is extremely tight in a tubular breast. So we have to keep expanding the breast skin with repeated intervals of fat grafting. Now if you're looking for a single stage treatment well it is possible we can do a breast implant in that case we do a stage one breast implant where we release the fibrous bands expand the skin component and then place an implant directly underneath the breast tissue or the chest muscles in case we feel that the skin is inadequate and it will not help uh, implant to fit in the space then what we have to do is place a tissue expander a tissue expander is placed underneath the breast pocket we create the pocket then we expand the breast skin over two to three months, maybe four months. And then after we have achieved enough amount of skin expansion on the chest, then we take off the tissue expander and place a breast implant of the appropriate size. I'm sure after this video, you have a lot of questions about this tubular breast deformity and all of those women out there, if you are concerned that you have any of these symptoms which point towards this condition, then please do leave us your questions on the comment comment section below do not forget to press the bell icon do follow our youtube channel and call us on 9108969006 visit our website kaesthetics.in you can also look into our instagram channel dr karishma underscore aesthetics dm us take an appointment today and we can help you figure whether you have this issue or not